Hi, I'm Invalid Ghost, and I'm playing Minecraft, and hopefully the audio is working now. Hopefully you can hear the rain and the, the zombies growling. If not, well then, <laughs> oh well, you know. Uh, you know what, Nick? Let me just, let me just set you up, my bud, so that you don't die from skeletons. That would just be too sad. Anyway, we're, uh, trapped in this hole again. So, uh, you know, that's, that's nice, that's comforting. Oh, we need that open so I can see when it's daytime. There's a zombie in my ear. You know, regular Minecraft stuff. Before we get in, uh, I just would like to share another comment from Stuart Bates. Uh, another few tips, another few tips from them. Uh... He told me the three minute timer for items doesn't count down for the nether when you're in the overworld, so that's pretty nice. Don't know if my items are still in the nether, don't know if I'm ever gonna go back for them, but that's that's nice to know for the future. Uh, also, the soul fire torch is soul soil on the bottom, a stick above it, and a coal above the stick, uh, as far as he recalls. Which sounds right, that sounds about right. <laughs> I don't remember what I tried to do. I think I just put a torch and then a soul soil on the top. <laughs> but yeah, that that uh, crafting recipe sounds uh, more correct. Anyway, Nick, how are we doing? You like you like being in the cave? Isn't it cozy? Don't you wish we had a bed? Because I wish we had a bed, but I don't have any wool. Do I? No. Good. Well, let's stop being weenies, and let's actually just go out here and fight people. There's no one even out here. Well, then where's the grunting groaning coming from? Also, you know what? We should just make a door. We should really just make a door. Because <laughs> I can do that. I can do that easily. This should be our temporary little hobble for a while, at least until I get enough iron to be comfortable with going back into the nether. It's draining. Also, this music's too loud for me. <laughs> it's real loud in my ears. Okay. Hey, zombie. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you not even gonna attack me? That's kind of sad. Ooh, you did hit me. Ow. He was just standing there. I shouldn't have attacked him. We could have been friends. We could have been best friends. I'm not going down there just yet. I need food. Is what I need. Now, I do have cod still, right? Please tell me I've cod. Yes. Yes, we have fresh cod. Fresh cod, and we have enough to make an oven. So, that's not how you make an oven. <laughs> so, let's just place that right down. Put the cod in. Let me make sure my audio's recording. Okay, we're good. Uh, don't have any coal. Hmm. <laughs> we don't have any coal. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We'll find coal. Coal's right there, you know? Just, uh, right over there. I mean, how hard could it be to get some coal? <laughs> right? I almost pressed the space bar. And <laughs> I almost pressed the space bar instead of shift. That would have been a disaster. <laughs> Look at all those creepers! I don't understand why I have so many creepers in my game. I've never seen so many creepers in one place, man. That was crazy last time we record. I was recording, you know, and there were like three of them. All in the same area, three or four. It was insane. Where's my pickaxe? There it is. I need to organize my weapons. This is... This is not how I play Minecraft. <laughs> there we go. Normally I use axes instead of swords, but I guess I made a sword like a moron. Well, you know, that's fine. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Well, anyway, I've been trying to use axes more than a sword. I'm kind of failing at it. I try to use axes more than a sword because an axe has higher damage. Of course, you can swing a sword more often than you can swing an axe. Because their charge is faster, I think. But, uh, you know. Who am I to... Debate Minecraft strategies. <laughs> I just want to use an axe because nobody else uses an axe. 
it's an underused weapon. I want to use it. I want to use it. Everyone's always raving about their swords and their bows. I want to use an axe. Alright, there we go. There we go. We've got some coal now. Now we can actually cook some stuff. Now we can actually figure out how to get back up. <laughs> there we go. Easy peasy. There. See, that wasn't so bad. I was acting like it was going to be the end of the world getting that coal. It was easy. Now we can make our food so that we don't die. Why are there no animals around, man? I want some sheep. So I can get wool. So that I can make a bed. So that I don't have to sit here and wait until morning. Like a, like a moron. Like a, a scaredy cat. But there's nothing around. I shouldn't be running. That's a bad idea. Hey, little spider. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 can we be cool? Can we be cool? It's almost daytime. It's nearly daytime. Come on. Come on. I love spiders. Don't make me. Don't make me. I will kill you. There you go. You're dead. I got your eyeball. Told you not to do that. Smoked cod. Nice. You're not getting any of this cod, Nick. I'm sorry. It's all for me. All of it is for me. Until you get hurt. Door. I don't need these doors with me. Put those in there. Put a whole bunch of this junk in here. Who needs this anyway? <laughs> Might want the craft. Okay, we should be good. Let's grab some wood and... No. Let's grab some wood and head, da head back down to the ravine. And hope that those creepers are gone. They're probably not gone. But we can always hope. We can always hope. Alright. Time to go back into the mine. There was coal right here. I could have just went down my stairs and got it. But no, I had to go and do the dangerous, stupid thing. <laughs> Great. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. More coal. More coal for me. Ooh, I almost fell. Alright, let's go back to that spot where I was trying to go to, but then all those zombies came out of nowhere, and the skeleton came, and the creepers came, and everything came. It was awful. Alright, is there anything back here? No, there is not a single thing. Why were there like a million zombies back here? That doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. I can't compute craziness. Okay. Anything back here? Iron. That's good. I need iron. Thank you, iron. Six pieces. Actually, five. I can't count. I can't. I can't count. Dang. Alright, let's go up here. Anyone up here? Anyone gonna kill me today? Anything I'm missing? No, I, I never miss anything. I have eyes like a hawk. Like an eagle. Like a something else that has really good eyes. Hey, hey. Can this can this not do the oh frick, that's not what I meant. Can this not do this? Yeah. I'll keep you for an elevator, because it seems like there's another floor, but I don't need you. Blocking my path. Oh, I'm gonna get lost in here, aren't I? Oh, I'm so going to get lost. Especially because I'm not putting the torches on the left or right side of the thing and reminding myself that... Uh, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. Frick. <laughs> I'm putting the torches right in the middle of the walkway, like an idiot. Uh, great. Ooh, this looks like a big scary cavern. <laughs> okay. Ooh, ooh, that looks like a spider jockey, and I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Thank you, pal. Very nice of you. Very chill. <gasps> Don't kill me. I thought we were friends. <laughs> Guess he just didn't like skeletons. I don't blame him. I hate skeletons. Uh, I should eat some cod. Alright, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. <laughs> that was 
was funny. He just suffocated his rider into the wall. A lot of coal over here. I don't really want it, but it's nice to know that it's here if I want it. For whatever reason, I'll just try to block that way up. There. Should I put a torch here so I know that it's me that put the stupid thing there? <laughs> so I don't think- Ooh, dungeon! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need a new pickaxe in a second. I should probably make a new pickaxe. Okay, I'll do that. I've got the wood to spare for a crafting table. That's not- not- no, stop. <laughs> Big axe. Nice. And let's go up here. It's very quiet in this cave. I'm not sure I like that. Anything up here? No, it's just a loop around. Okay, great. Good to know I wasted my time. Though this does look like a good area to set a base. You know, a temporary base. One of those cave bases. Yeah, I kind of like it. I kind of like this as a temporary base. I could probably take Nick here, we could fortify it, make it nice, you know. It it looks like one of those big- that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> it looks like it could be one of those bases. So, should I get Nick? Or is it too dangerous still? I don't think it's that dangerous. I think Nick will be fine. It's lit. It's- it's still daytime, so there shouldn't be any enemies outside of this cavern. I think it's safe. I think it's safe to take him to the to the new safe spot. Maybe. I don't know. Is there anything in here? Oh. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> You know, if my memory were as good as everything else that I have, which is nothing because I'm not good at anything, but if I, if I, if my memory was good, something. <laughs> I forgot where my train of thought was gonna go. I'm about to fall off and die. You think it's safe to bring Nick down these steps? Surely his AI is not that stupid, right? Right, your A is not dumb. Right, Nick? Okay, please don't smash your face into me as I... Oof. Don't sit on the chests, please. Okay, I'm gonna take my steel with me. My iron. No, my steel. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna take that stuff with me so I can put it in the chest. Actually, you know what? Mm, nah, nah, I'll just, I'll just leave that stuff in there. Come on, Nick. Let's go. Let's go and try not to die. Let's go and try not to get ourselves killed. We're gonna go cave exploring, buddy. Doesn't that sound like fun? Look, you you went down the stairs, no problem. Why are you trying to leave me? Stop. Stop it. You need to follow me. Follow me into the abyss. Into the danger zone. You're still here? Yes. Good. Oh my god, how did you- You were behind me and then you just- Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Go in front of me to see if I care. Be a weird, mysterious cat. Here. Oh good, you just popped right in. See, he's already at home here. Already he's taken charge. He wants the, the loft. Okay, fine, you can have the loft. You want this square? Alright, you can have that square, Nick, and I'm just gonna make it safe for you. There you go. Ooh, iron right next to the square. Thank you, Nick. See, Nick can be my eyes. He's got way better eyes than I do. And I have gray eyes. Like an eagle. <laughs> Alright, I should probably make a few more torches before I head out. Just to light this place up, make sure nobody is gonna kill. I hear a skeleton. Kill Nick. That's what I was gonna say. Ah, hey, cheater. You can't block with the sword, I forgot. <laughs> That's not a thing you can do anymore. Die. Alright. Yes. 
torch time, torch making time. Put that there, put that there, make torches. Okay, we're good. Eat the fish, eat the cod. Eat the cod, we're all good. Let's go mining. I hear bat. Nothing up here to sneak up behind me, right? Hello, bats. Oh, hello. Gravel. Bat. Bat. Big, ginormous cavern. Zombie friend, hello. No, you, you can't come up here. You, you have to go back to being dead. Completely dead. Sorry. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, you suck. You suck. You suck. You suck real bad. Oh, oh. <laughs> great. Great. Good for me. One of those days, I'm gonna end up screaming. Like, for real. And then I'm gonna alert my mother, and she's gonna be coming in here like, What the frick are you doing? And I'll be like, Nothing. <laughs> I'm just playing Minecraft. <laughs> I'm just innocently playing Minecraft. I'm not doing it for an audience, no. <laughs> oh, frick. I need to eat more cod. Yes, Mr. Skeleton, would you like to come here? Would you like to come near me? We're not friends, and I don't like you, and you smell bad. I just want you to know that. What? Don't be hiding in the frickin- Ah! Dead. If you don't panic, you don't die. That's a new th trick I'm learning. <laughs> okay, let's light this place up. Hurry, quick. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> Before anything else spawns and kills me. I need, to, I need to get more cod. Dang it, that means I have to go home. I don't want to, I mean, not home, home, but you know, back to my base. I don't want to do that. I'm too lazy to go all the way back up those stairs. And come all the way back down those stairs. Frick, the bat scared me. I thought it was an enemy for a second. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> What's happening? Uh, why, am, why do I get hungry so fast? Stop it. <laughs> it's too realistic. <laughs> Give me that iron. A lot of coal here. Mm. You don't see me. You don't see me at all. There's also a zombie somewhere in here. Great. Well, I need to go get more food. Otherwise, I'm going to die. That much is clear. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to go back. I'm not home, but to my base. Hey, Nick. How you doing? Still alive? Good. Please don't tell me it's night time. Please don't tell me it's night time. And it's night time. Just what I wanted. J oh, <laughs> they just pop into existence. <laughs> Great. Great. Hey, how about you? How about you don't? How about you just stay away from me? How about you not do that, huh? Yeah. Okay. Hey, spider, can we be cool for just. Where did you go? Oh, you're still there. Hey, spider. Don't mind me. I'm just, uh. Minding my own business, and I'm not. Nope, 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 nope. You can't, you can't. It's illegal. You'll die. Don't even try. Stink, stupid spider, stupid spider. Get away from me. Okay, <laughs> let's go back home. <laughs> Get our cod and return. I am about to fall off and die. I really need to widen this. There's no one out here, right? Right, nobody's out here. It's safe. Perfectly safe. Perfectly safe. Okay, give me the rest of that. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm gonna need more food. Hmm. Any chance you two will be chickens? Because that could be useful. Uh, I just need... 
fence. I guess I'll need a gate. Okay, fine. Take a gate, not a fence. And now we just put the cackle fruit in there. Okay, there's nothing. I didn't get a single chicken out of that. Dang. Dang. Well, now it's raining hard. We should go look for sheep. Or cows or pigs or really any food. Mainly sheep, because I want to make a bed. But, you know, food is nice. Food is always good. Oh, that's not food. That's not food at all. Maybe, maybe we should do this later. Yeah. Let's go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Let's just lock ourselves in our door. Nick is fine. He's in a cozy little comfy cave. <sighs> Great. Well. Guess we're, uh, stuck in here until morning again. Hmm. <laughs> of course we are. Well, we might as well continue reading our story. That's right, I saved it. I saved the story. Does anyone remember where we were? I don't remember. Alright, whatever. Uh, Jimmy got up from sitting by the campfire and walked over to the tent and got in. Mr. Simpson walked over to the duffel bags and began to look for the rifle, finding it in the red one. Holding it in his hand, Mr. Simpson knew the gun was not loaded with bullets. Well, that's lame. And he did not plan to load it either. Well, I would have. <laughs> if there's a murderer in the woods, I would have at least loaded it. <laughs> but okay. Mr. Simpson had no concern whatsoever that the escaped prisoner would threaten them in any way. I'm okay. <laughs> Wasn't he a murderer? <laughs> well, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> he was merely providing a sense a security for his son. That's nice of you. Mr. Simpson was more concerned about a possible bear attack than the prisoner at large. Well, for that, wouldn't you want a loaded gun? I mean, a bear certainly isn't going to stop just because you point a gun at them. A person might, yeah, but a bear <laughs> certainly isn't. <laughs> Whatever, walking past the tent to put the fire out, Mr. Simpson could hear that Jimmy had already fallen to sleep. Smiling to himself, Jimmy's father picked up the pail of water and poured it over the fire. Immediately, the sizzle of steam rose into the air as the firelight disappeared into darkness. Mr. Simpson turned on his flashlight to find his way back to the tent. As he walked over, he held the flashlight in his right hand and the rifle in his left. Crawling into the tent, he placed the rifle between the sleeping bags. Zipping the tent door behind him, Mr. Sim Simpson crawled into his sleeping bag, zipped it up, and then turned the flashlight off. As he laid in the darkness, he could hear Jimmy still snoring and the gentle noises from the crickets and the bullfrogs outside. For a moment, he thought about how happy he was to be there in such a peaceful place where his son, who he loved so much, with his son, whatever, <laughs> everything was perfect, peaceful, serene. Slowly, Mr. Simpson could feel himself falling to sleep and beginning to dream. Soon he was deep in sleep and snoring, too. In the middle of the night, probably around four in the morning, Jimmy awoke. He was squirming because his stomach was cramping and he was having nightmares. As he laid on his back, looking up at the top of the tent, he immediately thought about the escaped murderer. He turned his head to look towards his father, and then he saw the gun lying between them. Instantly, he was relieved. He felt safe again. Then, in the distance, he heard... Crack! It sounded like someone stepping on a fallen branch. Then he heard... Crunch! It sounded like someone stepping onto a pile of leaves. Then he heard... Crack! <laughs> again, another broken branch. Jimmy tried to wake up his dad, but he couldn't. He tried shaking him, but he was sleeping too deeply. Jimmy grabbed the rifle and pointed it at the door, not knowing it was loaded. 
I thought it wasn't loaded. Whatever. <laughs> then outside the tent, Jimmy saw the shape of a man silhouetted by the light of the moon. Instantly, without thought, he pulled the trigger of the unloaded gun. Pow! See, it, see now it says it's unloaded. What? <laughs> the gun fired, and a bullet ripped through the tent. Wait, but it wasn't loaded. Whatever. Striking the shadowy figure dead. Mr. Simpson woke up in a panic and didn't understand what was happening. Everything seeming... seemed chaotic and confusing. His ears were ringing from the sound of the gun firing. He couldn't believe the gun was loaded. He thought for sure it wasn't. It was not. Good thing he was wrong. Good thing he was wrong? What if he just killed an innocent dude? <laughs> what if he just killed a camper or something? Okay, whatever. Jimmy was sitting, still holding the gun firm in his grip. His eyes were locked straight ahead in the direction he had fired. He was trembling with fear. Finally, he spoke. I saw him. It was him, the escaped prisoner. I know it was him. He was going to kill us. I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to do it, Jimmy repeated. Like a freaking broken record. <laughs> Hours later, the cops arrived on the scene. The man did not look like the escaped prisoner. He had short hair, no beard or mustache, and was wearing street clothes. Jimmy felt sick that he had shot at someone without knowing who he was shooting. Shooting. His dad felt terrible that he had made the awful mistake of thinking that a gun was unloaded without checking it by opening the breech. Yeah, you really should have done that. Jimmy was arrested as a murderer. <laughs> He's 13. <laughs> Okay, and he was taken to Jacksonville Prison, where he was placed in the very cell the escaped convict had been in. Kid, this cell's good enough. This is not how law enforcement works. <laughs> this is not how the justice system works. Where? The, where what? <laughs> Kid, this cell is good enough for you. You killed my brother-in-law, Henry. Well, just keep you here until I hope they hang you. <laughs> All right, I see it's uh, it's daytime, right? It's getting there anyway. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go try to find some sheep. I know it's raining so the zombies and the monsters aren't going to disappear, but, you know, whatever. At least they won't spawn, right? Because it'll be daytime. Maybe they will still spawn. I don't freaking know. I don't freaking care. <laughs> but I had to leave that story on the cliffhanger. Because <laughs> that's just ridiculous. 13-year-old <laughs> shoots a guy kills him dead, and they send him straight to prison, puts him in the same cell with the evicted- SHEEP! SHEEP! Yes! Yes! Oh, come to me, yes! Yes! Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. And a new swamp. A new swamp area. Nice. Well, that'll do for a bed and for mutton. Nice for food, I mean. Nice, 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 nice. I'll take the sugar cane too, because why not? Leave the stumps, let them grow again. You need this mushroom. Pigs! <gasps> There's actual food here! I hope I don't get lost. <gasps> beehive! I've never seen a beehive! That's new. That's a new thing. I don't know what to do with it. I know we shear it, and we get stuff, and that's all I know. <laughs> and if I attack it, I bet the bees will come after me. Hmm, I don't want that. But I do want to see a bee, because I believe you can get them to follow you with a flower. And there's plenty of flowers all over the place. So that should be easy to do. Gimme. Gimme the bee. A bees. I have a flower, and I don't know where the hive was, and I already lost it. Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> there it is. Hey, bees. Come here. I want to give you a flower. I want to give you flower. I like, I like bees. I want to give flower. I like a bee pet. I'd like a bee pet. Can you please enter? I don't want to destroy your hive, because it's the first hive I've ever seen. Maybe they're not coming out because it's raining. Ugh, what a bunch of pee. Fine, fine. I'll return. Just let me go to sleep, I guess. But I'll come back. And there better be bees. 
And it better let me sleep, because this looks like a thunderstorm to me. I mean, I haven't heard any thunder, but <laughs> this this looks like a thunderstorm to me. Alright. Um, bed. That's what I was doing. Bed. Pale bunk. You can only slumber during night or storm, so it's great. <laughs> Wait, what did you what did you call them? Storms of thunder and wrath? No, it's Poseidon's wrath. That that makes me upset. I was okay with the cock being removed, but how dare you remove Poseidon's wrath? Oh well, whatever. Whatever. Let's go back to Nick.